Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Try, I finally talked my wife into making this up. She made a batch last night, but we were swamped with grandkids and they cleared out, so she said she promised me she'd do it up tonight. But I want to show you what goes into this, okay? That smoked salmon I did, and if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link below on it so you can see how I did this smoked salmon, how I brined it, mix up your own brine and how you smoke it. And also, I'll put a link around, I'll put the recipe for this underneath too, but I'm going to just tell you what's in it, okay? What my wife's going to do is she's going to grate up, peel off the skin on this salmon and chunk it up. She shreds it up, and so there's, she'll make four cups of salmon, and then this is a 16 ounce thing of sour cream. Three of these, uh, what is it, eight ounce? Eight ounce uh, cream cheese, let them soften at room temperature so you can work with it. And then she's got four teaspoons of garlic powder. And we'll do that. And here's one all done up. You can see that she made up last night. And I'll tell you what, if you're going to have a party or something and you're going to make this up, make it up the day before and let it set. Oh my gosh, does it really get good after it sets today. But anyway, I'll have her tear into this, start grading up some of it, and then I'll, I'll be back with you. But don't that look good? I'll be back. This is Larry. I'm back. She is, what are you doing there? Um, just peeling the skin off the salmon here. Okay. And, and then you're going to, how you, okay, and then you're going to kind of shred this up then? Yep, you can watch me. Let's First see how you're getting this off. Okay. See how you do this. Kind of, and then you'll just kind of chop it up then? Yeah, and then I'll just chop it. I suppose this. you can do whatever, how thickness you want, but if you, it's... You can chop it into chunks or you can purify it a little bit, which I do in this grinder. I'll just... You do put it in the grinder? Just for a little bit. Just pulse it. We got one of them little ninja grinders over there. And she'll just, once she gets all her pieces done, she'll do, uh, will you do it in batches or you... Put a lot in there, or just no, you wait till I get a few in I'll there. I'll put another one. Uh, that's not enough yet. Okay, so she's gonna do that, and when she gets all this chopped up, diced up, and the skin off, and all that, I'll be back. Okay, she uh, shredded up one little batch here. Look how nice that is. See, that's gonna infuse into that uh, sour cream and uh, cream cheese way better that way. Really put the flavor through the whole thing. So she's just doing it in batches. She's got more to do, but she's getting it done. Are you packing when you make a cup? Yeah, you pack it. You want to pack it. So a pack bit. cup, four pack cups yeah. to that recipe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're gonna show me another little trick here now. Yeah, here's the way. Just peel that skin off there, and then cut the hard edges off. Because when you smoke it, it gets a little tougher on the edges. Then I put up. I put these hard edges. You see what I'm doing with them? Okay. Put them in the blender there. Oh, okay. And then this hard, this is this was up on your smoker. This was this had the skin on. So then I'll just take and I'll cut like this. Okay. And then I'll go like this. Some sometimes a person likes a few little bigger chunks. So will you put them in, in the blender or not? No, these I won't put in the blender. Oh, no. okay. So you got a little different, some grind stuff that you run through the yeah. grinder, but then some bigger chunks, so you got a little integrity. So when you yeah, so you get a little bit of get some a real bit pieces of salmon. of salmon, you can see right yeah, in there. See? Oh, that's a great idea. And then you just leave that hard stuff on the bottom there. We're not going to waste it. Now we're going to put it in the okay, grinder. Cool. I'll show you what it looks like when we take it out of the grinder. See how hard that is? Okay. That stuff just got a little dry from where... This is my little ninja here. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I love this thing. Wow. Makes fast order of that, don't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now, she'll do that in her cups, but she's also going to have some nice little chunks also in there. So you got finer stuff, and you got chunkier stuff, so you got a mixture, and when you get it all mixed up, I bet it's really going to be nice. How many cups you got here now? 
This is two. Okay, that's two. Okay, and we're going. To, we're going to hopefully we got four here left. We made a batch last night, and like I said, after it sets a day, oh wow, that's really really good. So she's going to do that when she gets ready to mix everything up. I'll be back. Okay, what we do, it's not on a recipe, but we like real onion in ours. You can try use it or not use it if you want. She's going to grate up some onion fine. Our grandson, he'll eat onion as long as he can't distinguish it, so she does this. But another little trick is, my dad was up here one time and really wanted to have some of this. He heard about it, and we I didn't have any smoked salmon right then. Another little trick my wife came up with. You go down and you get yourself some sa pink salmon or red salmon from the store and measure it out and get four cups of it. Then you put a little liquid smoke in it. And you can also make this. So if you see this recipe and you just can't wait until you smoke some salmon, that's a way of cheating a little bit, but it is pretty dang good. Just go get a couple cans of salmon, measure out four cups of it, and uh, put a little liquid smoke in and uh, to your liking and then go ahead and mix up the rest of the recipe. So she got a little bit on onion, not a lot grated, but when there and what are you gonna do? You're gonna whip this together or how do you do how do you beat it. You're just gonna beat you, you use a mixer or what do you do? My hands. Oh just your hands, okay. So you got two Two of the cream cheese in there and the sour cream. I'm gonna put the other one in too. And she's, and she's just gonna, oh, well, it's just gonna be good. And then you just beat it up with the spoon or what? Yep. And just sprinkle on the garlic powder and go to town, huh? I suppose you could use a blender if you wanted, huh? One thing you've got to do is make sure that you leave your cream cheese sit out all day so it's warm, room temperature. So it'll... Or otherwise... It'll otherwise, mix. a heck of a time mixing it, right? Yeah. I suppose you want to get this pretty well blended yeah, before you add... Yeah, this will take me a while, so you can come back. Come back. You want to blend this yep. real good before you put in that salmon, because you want this mixed thoroughly first, right? Yep. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, she gave up the spoon, and we're going to use a mixer, and I think it's going to work pretty good. Okay, now she's mixing the two together. Okay. Now, would you use a blender or something like that, or not? You can. It doesn't. You can use a blender. You can use your mixer. You can use a spoon. It don't matter how you mix this. Whoops. Just get it all mixed up. Just mix it all up. The key thing about this, is, man, is if you can make it the day before, put it in the fridge, cover it with some saran wrap or something, or a tight-fitting plastic container. And if you got a big party and you want to do some of this up, do it the day before, because man, I'm telling you. It is so good after it sets a day and gets a chance to really let all those flavors marry and really get good. So she's mixing it up and, uh, and that's pretty much it, huh? Yep, that's any, pretty much it. Any, 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 final it. any final thoughts on this? You might have to add, I say taste it. If it don't have enough garlic, add more. If it's got too much, don't put in that much next time. Everybody's taste is different, so. So just, uh, that's just, we just got a rule of thumb. Pretty much everything else, same. Uh, you might want more or less onion. You might not want an, uh, no onion. You might want a little more garlic. Oh, yeah, look at that. Can I taste it? Oh, man. Oh, I think it's got enough garlic. And my wife, she does like garlic. Anyway, I want to thank my wife for helping me out with this video. My wife's Yvonne, and she did one great job. This stuff looks good. You want to really hit it out of the Paul Park for people. Make the smoked salmon dip and put it on Ritz crackers, Tall House crackers. Some people like club crackers. Put it on that. You could put this on celery, couldn't you? Oh yeah, you could stuff celery. I stuff celery. I'd make about the same stuff. For Ooh, celery. you could do celery with sticks with it. You could do everything. But man, try this. Like I said, if you don't have any smoked salmon right away, and you're just dying to try this, go down and buy some cans of salmon. 
You can get the red salmon or the pink salmon. This is just regular pink salmon. And add a little bit of liquid smoke, four cups of that, and do the rest of the recipe. I'll put the recipe below the video, the basic recipe, and you can tweak it any way you want. But uh, this is Larry and Yvonne up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Ciao.